So we have four pillars that uh, Phi Theta Kappa is built on, and those four pillars are leadership, scholarship, fellowship, and service. And uh, this, a project like C3 just definitely uh, encompasses all four of those. Um, we started planning it a year ago. Uh, there was so much work that all of our officers um, have done. One of the things that we did, which was really cool, was on the 28th of August, we, we went to the, um, the teacher like luncheon, and we gave a short speech about what what we were hoping to do for C3 and how it was going to impact the students and the teachers. And I mean, right off the bat, they were, they were so excited. And, and that was a really good start because once the teachers were, were excited, the students followed suit. When we kind of started coming forward to different organizations in the community and saying, you know, this is, this is our idea, this is what we want to do, um, the amount of people that got behind us were like, yes, we want, we want to help you guys. We'd love to see this become annual event or we would love to be included next year. I mean, it was so neat to see just people jumping on the bandwagon like crazy, you know, begging for, you know, oh, we'd love to just have five people come today. We, you know, anybody you can give us, we'd love to have them. All right, so here at KVCC, they have some ins institutional learning outcomes that they want all of us students to learn. Um, and all of our classes are kind of built around those, just we don't really know it. And in a sense, you know, we, we've been doing all these uh, in these events today. We want you to think, you know, what, what did I learn? Which one of these things um, can I really apply to what I've done? You know, was it uh, communication? What communication skills did you, you use? The ability to work in groups, you know, how did you do that? Um, what ethics did you apply to it? Or um, what was the global perspective? You know, how um, how can you apply, or how do you, how can you look at where you are now, um, as opposed to how the community around you is? So we went to the community gardens today. Uh, we took all the muddy plants out and put them on a composting, and we tidied up a little bit, and then we ate ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> she was not supposed to say that. So. So it was a wonderful experience and the students that we had with us got just as muddy as us and it was wonderful to see them start all perfect and end not so perfect. I dug the heck out of that part. Hi hey everybody, we went to the Kalamazoo Gospel Mission. Um, my name is Matthew. I personally two years ago went to the Kalamazoo Gospel Mission as a client. I was in a position in my life where I needed the support, I needed the shelter, I needed meals and I wasn't getting it. Uh, the Kalamazoo Gospel Mission made a big difference in my life. And Two years later, now that I'm going back to college. Yes, that's the Kalamazoo Gospel Mission. Uh, we had the great opportunity to go to the Edison neighborhood and do a lot of good. Um, we split up into three different groups. One group went and four different groups. One went and planted a bunch of flowers in an area. Another one went and took brush down by a building that they were trying to make look nicer. And the guy that was helping us from the Edison community He's like, we really need to get this guy, this liquor store owner guy, you know, involved in the community more. And so we were able to, you know, help him out. And I think that really touched his heart that there was people out and about helping out. We, we learned a lot about 
you know, a diverse area that is with, within the whole Edison area and just how the little bit of work that we did, they thought it was huge. We were at Anna Winton Hall and we were doing free nail art and haircuts. And through the whole day we did 38 haircuts and 26 nail designs. The atmosphere there, the only way I could sum up the experience of the whole entire day was it was like food for my soul. We did a couple first haircuts. We gave a woman a haircut that hadn't had a haircut in 16 years. And she paid it forward by giving her hair to the locks of love. What are we gonna do? So we go to the park, a bunch of clothes, and we kind of sorted them out and handed them to people. We went to a park and some of my fellow group members met up with some people that really needed that, really appreciated it, and we started having conversations and making connections with these people. She was telling us, like, you know, I appreciate you guys for, like, coming out here, communicating with us, because this is something that you all want to do. It's nothing, like, that somebody forced you to do. So, you know, she just started telling me where she was from, and um, she's from Tennessee, and she said that today was her daughter's birthday. And she was in, she ended up here in Michigan because her house had burned down. And she had a two month old baby that died in the fire. And um, it was just really touching. And she just broke down and started crying. And, you know, she was just happy that we were even here to talk to her. These guys had started thinking about being doormen when we were in the Kalamazoo Mall. And then after we ran out of clothing to disperse at both parks, we decided to just start cleaning up the park. And so then we started picking up all of that trash. Then we bought somebody lunch. And then it just kind of started to ripple from there. And then the police came up to us and said, hey, are you the random acts of kindness people? Because that's what this is all about, is changing Kalamazoo. And I honestly feel, listening to these stories, that we did a heck of a job changing Kalamazoo today, right? All the hard work, it, it, I mean, it, the hours that we put into it, it was just extensive and exhausting. But seeing all that hard work pay off today has just been amazing. I mean, I've seen students come up on stage and cry because of the service projects we've done. I've seen people out in the community with tears in their eyes when we went around and, and looked at the various community service projects going on today. One thing that was absolutely instrumental in C3 was our support from the college and the faculty. I mean, without the teachers and our advisors and everything that we had going behind us to help make this happen, there was no way we could have done it just by ourselves. To see students get up on stage and, and talk about how at one point they were homeless and, and now they're giving back to the homeless and people were starting to cry and tear up. It, it really, really meant a lot and it, it really showed how great of a success this event was. It was just so powerful that I never would have ever thought way back at the beginning was this was going to be the final event, that this was going to be the end result of all of our hard work, all of our hours we put into it. It was just amazing. <laughs>